you do take particular love and you have got a lot of people that um you're you're close to within the street culture world mm. right? and i know you're a big graph fan too yeah man this is the thing so obviously panic he, one of the biggest graffiti writers um he said that in your podcast mm. uh, yeah. I grew up in that. I think the biggest thing I've learned from graffiti is it's a culture where it's it's the purest culture. It's the purest it can get. End of the day, you are rated if you have your own style and you're putting in work. Mm. And I think that's how every art should be shown as not not manipulation. You know, some people are rich in life because of stock manipulation, you know, or music manipulation, like putting mm. fake views and fake followers and then all of a sudden they're in the charts. Ariana Grande, there's a lot of fakeness that you mm. can do to get your way up in music. But in, in, in graffiti, you can't you can't fake it. No, you you are only going to be a king if if you really put in the work, do you know what I mean? And that's why I've, I love graffiti and I love the culture mm. and what I've seen over the years. Because mm. it's the only thing, in my opinion, that's actually, like, still real. Killer Killer Podcast. Killer Killer Official dot com. You need the Television app. 24-7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top fives, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Yo, Nolan Poland Records for underground classics. NolanPolandRecords.com Beatbox Creative. To talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller podcast. Right, come on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller podcast live and direct, central London or central as what you fucking need to be, and you don't need to be anywhere else. It's not as fun, it costs too much money, and everyone else, they just do not appreciate you like we do. Hold tight, pirate.com, 24 7 music, podcasts, and dance studios all across the UK. Strainstation.co.uk, big shout out to NoPolandRecords.com. Hey, up everybody, it's got the television app, free download for your sins, the street culture, the athleticism of it all. Mini docs, podcasts, live streams, the work, go get it, free download, Android, iPhone. Inside the house, people. A cult figure in the making. Somebody that you may have uh, been drawing attention to, especially in rap circles over the last five years, because this gentleman has been coming up full pelt, steam ahead with the sound that can only be defined as distinguishedly British. Spoken word, rap, lyricist, poetic for the streets, his own soundtrack, call it what you want. New album, Jimothy Lacoste inside the place. Yes, bro. What yes, you saying, my <laughs> yes, man, I'm good, bro. How so, are you? Well, I'm good, man. It's, you know, it's really when I was delving into the recesses of how to establish you on this, on this episode where I suddenly, yeah, I, I fell into the... The term cult classic, cult, cult classic in the yeah. making. Yeah, there is this, there is this mystique about Jimothy Lacoste, and if you haven't checked out Jimothy, then then you've really been hiding under a rock, um, an antisocial <laughs> rock. It's fucking mad, man. You've really kind of started in a real streets audio bullies esque kind yeah. of place. I think yeah, like I started really. I'm 23 now, so I started when I was 16, mm-hmm. and it came from a place where. So I, I grew up in Camden. Hey, and Camden, old time. And to be honest, I started making music before I had friends. And I think that's the biggest part of it f- before, because if I had friends, I think I would have been scared to get judged. Mm. So I didn't actually have friends when I started making music. Um, but then as soon as I started making music, I started reuniting with old old friends that I knew. So I big up my boy Teo. Mm. Him, big up him. If it wasn't for him, he wouldn't have put me on to a lot of people in it. Because basically, I started then going house parties. And then from there... Um, shit got live. <laughs> shit got live. Basically, I started like... So you went from nothing to a hell of a lot in a short space of time, basically. Yeah, do you know what it was? I was very, 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 very... Desperate's not the word. Ambitious, maybe. But basically, I was in a place where... I just wanted to to be at house parties because I liked being in I liked being in certain cultures. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. So as soon as I was in there, and I already had a song out, people already were like, "Right, who's this kid doing this? Like, where's he getting this sound?" 
And really, the sound was coming from a whole bunch of people. You know, the inspirations come from so many people. People ask me, oh, well, who's your inspiration? And it's hard for me to say one person because when I was 15, when I, I mean, when I, was, when I was 15, I already had a massive playlist, but my sister really was putting me on to a lot of music when I was like 12. Then from there, I was listening to like, like for example, the other day, I went onto my uh, playlist and I was like, I realised I was listening to the drums, like like just proper band shit, mm-hmm, do you know what mm-hmm, I mean? Mm-hmm. And then like Bear, Classic House, Bear, UK Garage, mm-hmm. do you know what I mean? You say Audio Bullies, boom, there was an Audio Bully song there, but when, he, on, when he's doing the, do you know what I mean? When, he, when he's doing like when the, the spray can, yeah, like, yeah. it's like all There's yeah, some all things of that. I don't tell you. <laughs> do, do. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I mean, all, bro, literally. And obviously mm. like people, you know, Young Lean and all that. and yeah. And, and a lot of people, but um, I would say, yeah, just like making the beats. Making the beats came from not being scared about what people are going to say about me or anything. Oh, hold on, stop. So you make the beats as well? Everything, yeah. Bro, bro, I, I Let, get, the, yeah. bro your beats are banging. Like, yeah, love, I, the bro. new album is like, what's a disease? The first, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, yes, that yeah, beat yeah. is, check the album, it's out now. Name of the album? Motivate. I keep on forgetting. Motivate. I was just listening to it twice the other weekend this week. It's and it's repeatable as well. That's the other thing. So this is what I'll say. Yeah. So I'll make it very clear when I make my own beats. So Jimmy Fila cost all the all the new stuff. All the all the old stuff is all my beats. Um, Jimmy Fee's house party package. <laughs> I came out. That's like a house party package out of four songs. That's me and my friend Joss Ryan making the beats. But then the Safeway, another album that I've got that came out in 2019, 19 songs, yeah. all produced and written by me. Yeah. And then as well, Motivate, all produced and written by me. Jimothy's house party package. That's like more house music. It's all you it? need, including party poppers. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, check that out. That's me and Joss Ryan produced it, producing in it. Yeah, yeah. Um, really impressed with the fact that you had this, that kind of in house cottage style I'm going to fucking make it all do it all and, and all by the way where's, where does Jimothy Lacoste come from what's the name where's that yeah so basically when I was 15 I would like on Facebook I never wanted my real name mm. on, on Facebook due to things that I was doing mm. and my boy Errol from Turnpike Lane he's fucking disappeared isn't it? He's, he's out there but I don't know what happened to him but Errol if you're watching this like hit me up come I'm, on where the f- Gee, it's been three Where years. Where Where are you? Comment there? below. Come on, son. And obviously, he was like, as soon as I dropped my first song, T I M M Y, Timmy, he was like, Your MC name should be Jimothy Lacoste. And I'm like, Yeah. He's like, Yeah, well, look, your name on Facebook is Jimothy. And, you're, and you always look, you're always rocking Lacoste. And I'm like, You know what? Yeah, fuck it. You got a point. So that's how it came from. But you, you know what? Now, this is, this is what I'd say. So now, I've changed the Lacoste meaning of, of Jimothy Lacoste. Now the meaning is not, oh, because I love the brand. I love every fucking brand, and it? Not just Lacoste. Mm. It's more like I'm, I'm, I'm a crocodile because I've got thick skin. Do you know what I mean? No matter what happens to me in life, uh, I can fucking take it. Take but, it and take you know it. I mean? Take it in the, take it on the chin and you go for your fucking wrist. That's it. That's it. <laughs> um, I, I, I find, right. So this could be perceived as slightly spicy. It's not designed that way. I've on first intro, and big up example because it was through example that that because he's a big fan of you as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He then, messages me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's big my up. guy, right? And and then and there was a couple of other people. Uh, big up Panic ATG who yeah. was managing you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know? And I think it was how I discovered you almost prior to hearing your music, and um, for its time, uh, and just going back to the cult thing, it was it was an uncertainty of like serious, not serious, serious, not serious. That doesn't mean like it, not like it, but I think what you are able to do in transferring that information to people is you inadvertently create the debate. And yeah. that's the best art. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I agree. Was that an intention? Definitely not. Um, <laughs> when, pe- when people were saying if it's serious or not, it was, an in- it was interesting because... The people that asked if it was ser- if it was serious were the people that that like weren't from the culture that I was from. Mm. The people that were from the, from the, the culture where I was from, mm-hmm. they knew exactly what, it was what time doing. it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, 
And back to panic, what you said there, yeah. I just wanna, I just wanna, I just wanna big up panic in it. So big he was managing panic, me, but this is the thing, yeah. So panic, so panic, so Pete, 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 and and panic, they they were the first people to manage me. So they discovered me, and I just wanna say, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be like. Basically, yeah. Any kind of vision I had, they made it possible. Mm-hmm. And I think that's the that's the hardest thing in music, especially with what I want to do is uh, music videos, because a lot of the music videos I direct myself as well. When I've got a lot of ideas, panic made made that shit come come through. Mm-hmm. And Pete, when I had a beat and I made a beat, and I'm like, yo, Pete, like this this bass is fucking the bass the bass is is calm, but it sounds fucking low. Can mm-hmm. you ju- can you just make it sound louder? And he just make it sound louder. Do you know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. I didn't want to be that guy that just drops bare unmastered songs. Mm. So I just want to big them up as well. Do you know what I mean? Because I don't feel like I did that enough when I was younger. Um, oh, that's sick. I appreciate you saying that. Yeah, man. There's some things that uh, take uh, take some wise shoulders to be able to, uh, uh, not even admit to, to, to be able to uh, send flowers in yeah. a particular direction. Yeah. yeah. It's just getting older. And I was 18 when all the crazy shit happened and... And um, I don't think I realised how much they worked, um, you know what I mean? Mm. Um, and I don't think I realised how much I worked as well at the time, do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of all hands on deck, blind, blindly, through blind ambition you kind of go hell to leather, but you don't always know how long that's going for, Yeah, what you're doing it for, what's everyone saying after five years of this shit. Mm. You just never know, do you? It's uncertain. Yeah, you but that's the exciting know. bit. That's the that yeah, that's the exciting bit, man. And that's what that's why I'm happy in it. And yeah, yeah, me yeah, me panic. Pete, we smashed it, man. Panic always made always made things come out, you know, the visionary stuff. He always popped that man. So mm. yeah. yeah man, do you think do you think a lot of um a lot of the I'll just go back to the kind of the irony of of what you were doing for its time. And it, it kind of harks back to um, original pirate material, The Streets, when mm. that... Um, I don't even know what the original song was. Um, original pirate material, that's what I know it as. But when it came through in a particular... Within the genre of Garage, and he was speaking in a certain way, and you couldn't quite tell whether it was banter or not, um, but everyone fucking loved it. I think that... I, I think your music had that effect. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. Yeah, totally, 100%. It's fun. I get yeah, I get compared all the time, and that's that's great. You know, what I mean, the streets. Mike Skinner, Mike Skinner, yeah, is. Uh, I've met a lot of musicians, yeah, and famous people, yeah, mm-hmm. and they're all fucking dicks. But <laughs> but Mike Skinner is the only guy that's actually like. Bear in mind, like, not only he's he's a king and he's a legend with what he's done. Mm. He's a humble guy, man. Mm. He's and like. Like he he's a he's a he's a normal guy and he doesn't he like he doesn't think like he's better than than, than other people. Do you know what I'm mm. saying? I'm I think it's healthy to have an ego. You need to know that you're you're worth. But one thing is that, and another thing is I'm better than everyone in this fucking planet. That's mm. gonna fucking drop you down quick enough. Mm. But he's a he's a proper nice guy, and I've met him a few times and. Yeah, man, he, he's, a, he's a G, man. He's a proper king. Yeah, mm, yeah. yeah flowers, flowers. <laughs> what's, what's, the, what's the process? Because 23 years old and you're producing, making your own beats, writing your own lyrics. I mean, this is, this is the he- heaviness of the crown that's on the head. It's yeah. like you're creating mm. a lot mm. uh, in different compartmental places in your head. Like, how, how, do you, how do you balance that process? I think for a lot of people, old and young... You know, sometimes, you know, doing more than being on the phone whilst typing on the computer is a fucking lot. Creatively, that's quite a lot you're doing there. It's, let me tell you now, it's, it's the hardest fucking thing in the world. The creative side of, of what I do is um, very difficult compared to what other, how other musicians do it. Just because an average musician may, might have to, have to only worry about writing. Mm. Or maybe they might have to only worry about... Um, what music? What 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 person to pick for the music video to di- direct? Because they because they've got someone writing for them and they've got someone producing for them, mm. and because I do all of it, it makes things very very difficult. The only thing that makes it difficult is patience. So oh. that's all it is. That's all it is. You know that's why I can't drop all the time, and because it's like if I because when I make my beats, for example, I'll have to make quite a few beats and pick 
pick the one I actually like. Um, for me to the, to start the beat, I have to be in a very creative like mode, and that's very hard for me to get to. Like, it's hard for me to always be in a creative mode, and then for me to write a really good song, the same thing. I can either write a really good song in, in under two minutes, mm. or it takes me ages to write a good song. Mm. So it's all. That's why I've not really done the whole music career thing and maybe I will in the future but to really do the music career thing you have to treat it as a business talk to me about the music career thing because to me to yeah. me I mean I get it because you know what two album projects yeah and then this is kind of staggered in the same way as perhaps albums were back in like the 90s where it'd be like album tour album tour yeah what, what do you mean by um career thing for example if i want so people are like okay so if i want to make money from it now Mm. in this day and age what you'd have to do is you'd have to promote the album make sure that realistically like to pe- if it's being see, I, it's, it's, I could get into this for for, for a while, and let's get into it for a while, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, yeah. If you want to do the whole business career thing now, what it looks like now is like you need to drop an album, do your tours, do your festivals, right? Mm. But you need to do it very consistently, very very consistently. And the way I do it, that's impossible because I need time to to, to be creative, it. right? Back in the day, in the nineties, it was possible because fans would be happy with an album. You could drop for no, not two years mm. and actually live off that album and, mm. and tour. You can't do that anymore. Mm. You can't do that anymore. You'd have to. You you gotta be very quick. So now rappers and all this shit, like you have to work with labels and you have to like really play that game. I can't do that, mm. and that's and that's only coming from a place where I can't sell my soul just like like that. Mm. Um, because if I do that, it's so it's only to make money. And look, I'll make money other ways. Mm-hmm. I'll make money other ways. You know I'm saying, saying Santi, street culture inside the building. <laughs> <Do you know? laughs> well, that knowledge just dropped right there. Yeah, yeah? we ain't picking it up. Let you guys uh, you know, you figure I mean? it I'll, out. I'll make money other ways. And, and, my, and music's possibly the worst way to make money. If, it really is, isn't it? It is. It's, if like you'll you'll make good money, you know, if you. Do the whole blow up thing. Or your tour, tour, touring, touring on stop. Touring, touring, really. You only make money on tours after really, like, you know, three years of just having a consistent, like, fan base where, because tours, you pay for everything. I can see Jim Thiele Cost as a DJ, though. I would love to DJ. I tried it once, yeah. And it was, man, it's it's difficult. It's like, it's actually hard, isn't it? I will, I'm gonna learn though. I want to learn. I think that would be. Yeah, I do want to learn. I do want to learn. That'd be the vocation. Um, yeah, I feel you. Y- you can't just step into the music world. I think for a lot of people who don't have their eye on all these creative disciplines that go into making an album or making a song, I feel like a lot of them, and not all of them, but some of them, you know, they. Uh, in a real TikTok kind of way, they they get their ego rubbed, they get really famous, but there's no real substance. To, to to get that substance, you actually have to spend fucking hours doing something that quite often you don't get fucking appreciated to get, for. And that's what I'm doing now. Mm-hmm. And this is the thing. And people think, oh, Jimothy, why are you not, were you not been dropping music, blah, blah, blah. It's because I've sacrificed my music career in order for me to now actually get that, like, that core fan base if that mm. makes sense I've, they are al- I've always as well. had them i've always had them right but like you can't i can't i was confused back in the day it's like i can't work with labels and and blah blah blah, blah. so it's like you it, i'm not about you know that 10 minute 10 minute of fame thing mm. yeah you make money and whatnot but like that's not what i do it for so now it's just me starting from scratch i i, I wasn't releasing music for like a year and a half on purpose because of the label yeah they were like look you gotta do this album for us and the and these songs and i'm like that's not me like Mm. this is not what i'm about like this is not this is going against all my morals and then they were like okay well then you can't release music and i'm like all right cool so then i had to stop making music for a, a year and a half do you know what I mean? Mm. People are people might have been thinking, "Oh, he's being lazy." Nah, no, I was doing that in order for me to now do what I what I can do now, which is what I love. Do you know what I mean? I lost followers, everything that didn't phase me. 
Because at the end of the day, I, I never started music for followers. <laughs> I never started music for, for money. Mm-mm. I started it for myself. That's right. So, yeah, yeah. See, I'm saying, sometimes you've got to take the L to know what the win is. That's it. Ain't that's it, it really? bro. That's it. You know, that's take it. Take a little L to know. And also, let's just put it in perspective. Um, you, by being out, it's almost like, it was almost like COVID lockdown part two for you because you were able to create this album right in plain sight. Yeah, yeah, trust. Yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden it's like, drop. Yeah, have some of this. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's cool. Um, yeah. Talk to me about the the pressures that go into... Because I'll be real with you. Like, I don't see many Jimmy Fee Lacoste in It's rare that you come on... Any show, I'm fucking privy, bro. Like this is hard. This <laughs> no, is I love, bro. Dumb, you know what I mean. This is rare, rare. And uh, I, f- I found it intriguing that you know you sort of value in coming on here because we ain't just talking about the usual shit. But what what's interesting is that you choose not to do any of it. Yeah. You really like you don't follow no one on Instagram. You don't really buck with a lot of people other than you know certain street man. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you don't yeah, really yeah. fuck. You don't really fuck with the whole social butterfly thing. Yeah. You're low key. Basically, like, it's just, it's just not my thing, isn't it? I feel like the whole pressures, so the first thing, the pressure stuff, like, I think the pressure first comes from the fans themselves, really, at mm. first. At first, it's actually the fans, isn't it? Because mm. the fans, you might make something and the fans might be like, this is banging, we, we need more of that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And then you've got two things might happen. You're going to listen to them and then you might start forgetting that the way you actually thrive is by is by being creative and actually not following f- mm. f- patterns. Mm. So then the fans then fuck you up, yeah? Not saying the fans we are bad this. at all. Yeah. But that, so first it's the fans. It's just more like appreciate them and know that like if, if they fuck with it yeah like that's that's amazing but that the first thing is the fans you know or if they say we don't like this we we want more of that if i follow if i if i actually listen to to like a lot of the a lot of the comments back in the day i want to be here right now i wouldn't be here right now so that's the first one the pressure is that and then obviously then after that if you then start doing the career thing then obviously it's the money managers mm. and all of that stuff there and then um what was the other thing like the, the Instagram Instagram again Instagram Instagram is a big pressure so I I at one point followed people posted every day boom 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 because I was doing the career thing right mm. and I did it because I wanted to do it and it's fun the thing is it destroys you man because mm. it's a drug in it mm-hmm. like you will get likes you will get a lot of brand deals you will get money but it's it's like a drug. You feel good, but you get a come down. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, it either, and the drug's either going to kill you or you're going to just stop doing it. So with Instagram, I had to just stop doing it because that I got to a point where, oh, shit, my, my, my goal is 8K likes on one photo within 10 minutes, yeah? I've only got 4K likes now. Nah, f- fuck this. Yeah. Like, nah, nah. As soon as... That that's when I knew, like, man, like, I never, I never make, I never got into music for this. Like, what what happened to me? Mm. How, I've been corrupted. I've become? been corrupted. I've yeah. been corrupted. So the whole Instagram thing corrupts me. Ooh. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I try to avoid it because it can turn evil. It can turn quite dark, you know. Yeah, yeah. And really, it's just about putting the music out. Yeah, and that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I feel you. Um, it's uh. He kind of goes, said for the rest of the internet world, it's like for what we use it for and all the best intentions, it could change your whole life in yeah. a good way. But then on you also, on success, part of a bigger receiving end of some bullshit. Yeah. People are really depressed out there, aren't they? <laughs> Man, listen, I know a lot of influencers, yeah, and they get bare likes, they post. Look, some of them like it banging, but some of them... They know that shit. If my fans see me wearing the same jacket in a different photo, they're mm. gonna think I'm broke. Mm. I'm thinking mm. I'm not trying to live that life. Mm. I'm trying to wear the same jacket for twenty years. Do you well, know totally. what I mean? And, just, and show people Yo, like, <laughs> I ain't playing. I wear them shoes. I don't put box them up. Do you know? Where the fuckers? You know? Do you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's like it's like it depends on how you want to live it. Really, like 
you know, some some people can do it, man. Some people can do it. Do you know what I mean? So I I respect everyone. I'm, I don't judge anyone. Like, if you want to do the Instagram thing and the social in TikTok, I don't mind. But just make sure you don't make the same mistake I I do, and just just know how you grew up and how you came up with in the first place. Because you gotta stick with that. You gotta stick with your roots, and that's mm. what I'm doing now. Yeah. Mm. Um, we'll get back to the roots in a minute. Um, oh man, I just I often feel really. I guess I, to a great extent, really appreciate what you're saying there because um, my time is spent a little less now, to be fair, with jumping on posting. And I I often think to myself, if I wasn't a platform that leaned heavily on, you know, connectivity and, you know, just cultivating a, a direct audience, would I really be on social media at all? And I... I like to think no, but then there's the ad- addictive side to it where I'm like, well, you don't have to be on here at 10 in the evening. What the fuck are you doing on here? Yeah. Do you know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a drug. It's, it's a drug, It's a it? drug, man. It's a drug, do you know what I mean? And that's that's the problem, do you know what I mean? It, like, it's like, it's the, it's the, it's the snake. <laughs> it's the snake coming down the tree with Adam and Eve, like, trying the fruit. <laughs> it tastes good, do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> It does taste good, but shit, now you've got consequences. Yeah, 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 totally. <laughs> you know, you can never... You, you, there's always too much of, of something. Try and keep yeah. the balance, right? Um, uh, it's spicy, perhaps. Uh, do, do you feel... Because while we're on the subject of, you know, forbidden fruits and distractions, if you're, if you're in a creative space, like, 90% of the time... There's got to be distractions, isn't it? I mean, there must yeah. be times where, and I can only speak this directly to you because your head must be crammed full of creative thinkings and just like multiple flies trapped in your head bouncing from one side of the skull to the mm. next with just information and ideas. Where's your escapism? Is it partying? Is it drugs? Is it, is it, is it, is there a, is there a, um, a, down, quote unquote, a downfall in this creative, hyper creative space that you go. The only, do you know what the the downfall is? Yeah, because the only thing is, is this like you said, ideas just in my head running up and down, up and down, up and down, yeah. and knowing that you can't do them all hurts you a lot. But I hope you just need to make sure that like you say to yourself, you're gonna do it one day. Mm. Soon, don't worry, just be patient. My thing, my outlet is probably photography, going into places and taking photos. Really? So all, so all my, so this my album cover for Motivate, that photo I took when I was fifteen in my mum's church, and then the other photo for the Safeway is when I took when I was sixteen in my old school. So I've actually what? got a bunch of photography, but I'm not going to plug where that can be found just yet. <laughs> yeah, I'll see what, you've got your own little kind of platform with a load of banging shots. Is that, <laughs> yeah. for real? Well, yeah, yeah. I've been doing photography since I was like 15. Yeah. So that's my outlet. That that's there. I'm, gen- I'm now counting off, because there's some skill sets, of course, that we don't talk about on this podcast, but he's very talented at them. I'm now reeling off about four or five things that you're really fucking competent at. And... Doesn't that get too much? Is that like cluttery? Yeah, man, it gets cluttery, man. That's why that's why I'm always confused and sometimes I'm angry and sometimes But you know what? I guess it's if that's what makes me create the art, then fuck it, I guess. I love that you I say guess that. It works, you know? But the the motivate album on the whole has a sense of um a paranoia to it. Has a sense mm. of there's a lot of talk of depression, there's a lot of talk of uh um, frustration and shit, you know, like there's a lot of that on the album. Um, is this is this an is this a get out of rather than applying that mental mentality in what you do in the day? Is it more is this more of an outlet to? So with motivate, it was basically written when I was going through mad shit in life. Um, when I was seventeen, eighteen, I was a completely different person. Uh, I didn't indulge in things that I shouldn't have indulged in. Um, my willpower was a lot stronger when I was younger. Um, I didn't have as many friends. And now actually having more friends makes life difficult. 
but the close friends know who who I'm talking about. It's fine. It's just more when you know a load of people, and then you have trust issues. And, and it, yeah, it came from more of a place of of pain. I would say a couple songs. I'd say disease came from a place of a bit of pain. Um, mm. The song "Will It Ever End?" It sounds happy, but I'm actually talking about drugs. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm at, you know I'm I'm saying "Will It Ever End?" For the moment, they're my friends. Mm. Sometimes they disturb. What I'm saying is, will will, will me going out and partying ever end? Because it's because it's not good. For the moment, they're helping me. They're my friends. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And mm. but they do disturb. And then um, that's interesting. You say disturb. Yeah, because you you. Were, you were fine in your creative path with not no mates, but just being on your own. Yeah. Does that? Because I've been there and I fucking suffer it my own self. So I'll be intrigued to know what you think. I often feel like really resentful in myself for getting myself down that singular road where you read on in every you know what not to do pamphlet in music what. Everyone tells you you shouldn't do and you end up doing. Yeah. And you know full well that your constitution from a younger age would be not to ever have done that. Yeah. It's almost like you end up resenting yourself. Yeah. It's 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 easy to lose yourself, man. You yeah. know? Like I don't know. I've I I like it's it's weird. I think it's just slowly and slowly you start like <laughs> doing you know it's like how you become successful is not by it doesn't happen in one day you slowly wake start waking up early slowly start having workouts slowly start reach hitting one goal a day mm-hmm. within one year that's really easy so then you can move on to the bigger thing well it's the same with the bad stuff it's like slowly you'll start waking up late then you'll just drink whenever you'll start hanging out with the wrong people mm. hanging out with the wrong girls mm. then within one year one year you're in such you're in such a deep hole that it's super hard to get out of yeah. same thing with success you can do such it was really well and you're so high up it's hard to to to, to get down from that mm. so that's i think it's just knowing when you when you're like when you're taking the piss a bit and when it's time to stop my biggest goal right now is to just um yeah, get back to my basics. That's do you feel it. like? Do you feel like? Um, you could be in the kitchen. You're at two thirty in the evening. You're banging on some, you know, some drinks that really shouldn't be mixed with the drinks you were drinking at yeah. seven o'clock. Yeah, and you're fucked up, and the music's playing. The people, are, you know, stragglers are still in the fucking living room. And you, do you ever sit there to yourself and say? I can't believe I've done this to myself again. <laughs> so the whole time, yeah, it's like this. It's like the whole time, what, it's, what it really is, is I'm looking at other people and I'm like, am I the only one that just feels super ashamed right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because everyone else looks so happy. It's yeah. at 7 a.m. or whatever. Yeah. And I'm just there. I'm like... Where's that conscience? And I'm just like, when is this going to end? Like, <laughs> like... Like, when is this going to end, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. You know, the irony is we'll probably drink till about two today. Yeah. <laughs> but no, it's the truth, isn't it? It's this yeah. feeling of um, just higher expectations for yourself. Yeah, man. yeah, you push yourself, man. And, and that's why we're successful, man, because we are harsh on ourselves. Yeah. But that's what makes our success, do you know what I mean? You wouldn't have been able to do your podcast and do everything you've done for the culture and everything you've done back in the day, like you beat used to beatbox, isn't it? Like yeah, you used to be yeah, massive. Yeah. Like that come, bro. All that, yeah. Like, like that comes from a place where, like, you want to push yourself, isn't it? You're angry for you yeah. doing nothing. You want to prove yourself. You want to. Do you know yeah. what I mean? So if we didn't have that, we would be the normal people that would be yeah. all right waking up, watching telly. Yeah. You know, fucking your wife. You know, yeah. having a wank and it, bro, fuck that, man. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm trying to go out and do shit. Like, right? and I guess, I, mean? I guess there is some fallout to that where you have to, you know, what I mean, you have to put up with yourself when you're at your worst behavior. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> do you think? Do you think like you've experienced a lot for your age at such a, you know, a, a, a fast pace and time? Like it, it seems to me like you, because I've watched it, I've mm. seen you grow. Like, in, in such a way of, like, uh, again, just, like, the right people 
at the right time, citing you and, you know, shouting you out. And, yo, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a, that's a sick question. Um, 100%. 100%. What I, I experienced... Oh, I experienced fame way too quick. And it's now given me severe... Not severe, but it's, it's, it's given me, like, some mental health problems now. Not in a black, uh, I need medication way. Yeah, 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 yeah. But just, like, let's say you're 16, yeah? And within one year, every girl wants to link you. Yeah. Forget that. But Bef the, Before the year, because some people always still have, like, a, a spark to them. And mm. I've always had a spark, but anyway. No girl wanted to link you. Mm. You never had money. Yeah. Everyone thought you. Everyone thinks you're weird. To then all of a sudden, every girl wants to link you. Mm. You have too much money. Everyone now, all the guys that were calling you weird now want now want to chill with you. Mm. And you're seventeen, and that, and you're to eighteen, like that's not good for you, bro. Mm. That fucked me up so badly, yeah. Because, again, like it's like we're saying, it's a drug. Mm. So. That shit, that shit's not good. Like, that shit's not good for... Not the ego. I want to say the ego, but... It's more just like... When you then don't have that... For example, I now don't have that. Because I had to... Like I was saying, I had to stop doing that. Right? Yeah, yeah, I could have had the choice of... Let me continue it and just... Mm. But now it's like, wow, like... From everyone wanting, everyone begging you to then all of a sudden, like, mm. again, you're a normal person in mm. society. Mm. It feels amazing, but it's definitely, like, quite fucked up. How okay, can, I just, uh, can I just add at this point, because there'd be some people out there going, who do you think he's talking about? This? Motherfucker, you, he, he's talking from experience. This, I've already <laughs> clocked some of the ways and nuances in which you're expressing things. This is the truth. You yeah. experienced this. Yeah. And... Yeah. I think it takes a lot of fucking metal to get, to say to yourself, right, I'm going to fucking fix this shit up because I was fine there and I'll be fine again. Yeah. Do yeah. You, do, do you think do you think your your upbringing and where you're from and how you came up has allowed you to go back to that? Point? Absolutely. Absolutely, man. My mom my mom's the humblest woman in the world and mm. I'm not close to my dad at all. Mm. Um yeah, she's just taught me, like, you know what, like, just, just keep life simple, innit? Um, if it wasn't for hard, you know what I mean? I'd be I'd be a bad person, innit? Yeah. Yeah, and parents, um, yeah, I rate them. Yeah, man, <laughs> yeah, rate, yeah. Great mums and dads. I've got loads of friends that that don't have a good relationship with their, with their mums. Yeah. And, uh, and I can see the difference with, with their personalities. It's not always bad, actually, but... Mm. No, with age comes wisdom, though, isn't it? Exactly, with age comes wisdom. That's it. But yeah. you had to do a lot of growing up real quick, bro. Yeah. Respectfully, I mean, this is you know this forty-four-year-old man talking, but yeah, you know, what the fuck do I know anyway? But it just feels like f you got a fucking heavy head on your shoulders, bro. Yeah, like you know what's going on. Yeah, I mean, with me, like it's, I got a lot of pressure in it, and the only way for me to survive that is. It's kind of just realising, you know what, pray to God and just everything works out. Because if not, I can't I, I can, I can go insane, do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like, you know what I mean? I'm not exactly, a lot of my friends, if things go wrong, look man, if things go wrong for them, they've got so many people in their family that will, that will bless them, innit? And with me, if things go wrong... I've really got to start and again and all, and all that. Does that worry you? Um, if I let it worry me, yeah, I can sit down and, and let it worry me now, but I always ignore that and just and always think, you know what, don't worry because things worked out before in your life, before music, you know, with school. I had problems in school. I had problems with a lot of things and I was worried about this and that. And things work work out. So I always just got to say, like, things are going to always work out. But what if it goes wrong? If and what is, and what is yeah. going wrong? If it goes wrong, yeah. If it goes wrong, the only thing that can then happen is, it, is things go up. It can only go so low, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so that's one. If things go really, really wrong, 
And what's really going wrong now, maybe, is like... I think me just... Because I'm still young, and I think people don't realise this. Yeah, I do music, I do this, I do that. It looks like I've got it all figured out. I still don't know exactly what I want to do, man. Mm. Like, I love making music, but I also love doing so many other things, and I also want to do a lot of other things in life. Mm. So what is hard at the moment is actually just sticking to one thing. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. that's what's the hardest thing. So that's all it is. I'm still young at the moment and people need to realise that I think my being my twenties has probably been the hardest years of my life. At eighteen I'm like, yeah, this is what I'm gonna do, boom, calm. But now twenties it's like, oh this is fun. But I've also now like gotten into this. This is also quite fun mm. as well. But, but music will always be there. Music's always in me. I'll mm. always drop music because I love it. But there's different things I wanna do. But it's just finding that balance. And finding that balance is difficult, do you know mm. what I mean? Can you imagine if it all went right? I mean, by the sounds of it, it's like you've just got so much you want to do. Yeah. Do you want to you, you knock that off? Yeah, yeah, all good, fam. That's, that's easy. easy. Um, yeah, can you imagine if it all goes it's right? Because I can think why has he got a brick? Yo, 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 check the brick. If you're not watching and you're listening, man, he got... <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's, on a, he's on a bat phone, let's just say. Oh, my God. Um, yo, uh, dude... You've got so much kind of going on. Like you say, you've got a lot of um, interests in other areas. And one of the reasons I know you've come on the, the Number One Street Culture podcast is because you do take a particular love and you have got a lot of people that um, you're, you're close to within the street culture world. Mm. You? And I know you're a big graph fan too. Yeah, man, this is the thing. So obviously, Panic, he, one of the biggest graffiti writers, um, he said that in your podcast. Mm. Uh, yeah. I grew up in that. I think the biggest thing I've learned from graffiti is it's a culture where it's it's the purest culture. It's the purest it can get. End of the day, you are rated if you have your own style and you're putting in work. Mm. And I think that's how every art should be shown as not not manipulation. You know, some people are rich in life because of stock manipulation, you know, or music manipulation, like putting mm. fake views and fake followers and then all of a sudden they're in the charts. Ariana Grande, there's a lot of fakeness that you mm. can do to get your way up in music. But in, in, in graffiti, you can't you can't fake it. No, you you can't. are only going to be a king if if you really put in the work. Do you know what I mean? And that's why I have, I love graffiti and I love the culture and mm. what I've seen over the years. Because mm. it's the only thing, in my opinion, that's actually, like, still real. Of course, I'm sure there's loads of different things that people will say, but for, for right now, that's what I know that's the most mm. realist. You grew up with it ever since a kid? Yeah, so... First, start, first started seeing graffiti when I was like, like ten, ten, and that was an ATG, ATG piece on a bridge in Camden, mm -hmm. in Chalk Chalk Farm, yeah, Camden. It was like purple fill, and a light blue outline, and then I started like seeing more graffiti videos, and I was like, man, graffiti, sick. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then um. Yeah, man, just I love it. I love the danger. I love the risk. I just, you know, what I mean, it's mm. the whole it's the same thing with music. It's like it's all about danger and risk. Yeah. Do you know what I mean, like, got big up uh, idea as well. DDS idea, of course. I mean, um, yeah, I've uh, bucked him as much as I have. Big up idea. Come on, son. yeah, yeah, man, he's a proper king, man. Yeah, yeah, there's some kings out there, man. Um, and if you haven't checked them, they're all on the podcast. <laughs> uh, bro, I I feel like your music is your soundtrack. Mm. Like you embody so many dynamics, and with everything that you kind, you, even even the way in which you explain your, your these scenarios and and what your likes and dislikes are, how uh, it just feels like this is Jimothy's world, and and you you create this, you create the soundtrack to that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, man. I listen to my own music all the time, and it like yeah. I'll, I'll be making. I make shit that I want to hear myself, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So does it fill a does it fill a hole in your record collection? I think it does. When I hear your tunes, I I feel like it fills a hole in the record collection. It does. It does. It does. It like it depends what you mean. What you mean by hole? Like if if you're listening to something, and you think that something's missing, or yeah, yeah. 
yeah, one hundred percent. When I'm in my car, yeah, and I'm, and I'm banging out a few songs, I'm like, man, I need to hear some of my shit now. Mm. Yeah, because I'm missing something. I'm mm. missing. I'm missing some of my sounds and shit. Yeah, mm. definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I man. often think to myself, and I've said it before on a podcast, but it still it still connects me when I with a sense of perspective. Is like, like you know, like fucking Dave Grohl, he created Nirvana with the other two lads. I forget their names, um, <laughs> but you know, he never got to experience as a listener. You know what I mean? Never mind album. It smells like Teen Spirit. Yeah, he never experienced that. Who knows whether he you know rates himself and listens to it? Yeah, it's. I just find it a real interesting. It entertains me the idea that somebody could like have that missing in their lives because they went and done it. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. You know what? I've I've always experienced this. Bands, let's say, like I've always had this inner joke. Yeah, when a band is in the kitchen and their song gets played on the radio, they're like, "Oh, I beg you, turn that off." <laughs> but a rapper's like, "Like, turn it up." Bang that. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? There's there's a difference between the cultures. Like with me personally, if my shit bangs, like I'm I'm like I'm trying to hear it. Yeah. And a lot of my friends that do more like band stuff, they don't want to. They don't like that. But they're coy for. Why are you coy for? <laughs> a punk, I live in, unless you're a punk band. If you're a punk band, they just want to. You know what I mean? They'll play while it's playing. Yeah, 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 man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just like yeah, how crazy you are, I guess. Yeah. Or maybe they, they do like it, they're just more shy. I don't know, but yeah, like I feel like as a musician you need to be banging out your own music, man. Mm. Do you know what I mean? You need to that's I mean, you need to bang out your own music. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um perhaps there is a uh disparity where it comes to being in a formation of a three to five band. Maybe you can't Maybe there's a maybe maybe there's a slight failing of ownership. There. Uh, Do you know what I mean? Oh, that's true. Because it's all delegated, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, no, that makes sense. That makes sense. So it's like, yeah, I kind of did it. I'm just the bass player. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. That yeah, makes yeah. sense. There's not as much ego involved. Yeah, if your it's... full ego is involved, like, yeah, man made that. Yeah, yeah. Then it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm pr- yeah, no, that makes sense. That makes more sense, you know. Because the rapper holds all the ego. Exactly. If you if you if it's just you on the track, then yeah, 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 and that that makes sense. Mm. That's very true. I didn't even clock that. That's probably it. It's probably it, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but that all being said, we celebrate the artistries on this show, and I, I honestly I cannot emphasize any greater how awesome it is that you're from naught to ten in getting your shit down and across the finishing line. That 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 shit is. I mean, we were kind of alluding to it before we pressed record how um, cottage industry it is and how you've got to have these constant conveyor belt of heads being put on and stuff. And, you know, I think we've, you know, set a couple of worlds to rights here as far as what the, yeah, what the um, what the kickback on that is. But um, it speaks volumes, bro. I mean, yeah. do you know what I'm saying? Thank you, bro. Thank you, man. Yeah, thank you, bro. My guy. Yeah, like... I try my best, in it? Like, and yeah, more to come, more to come. Just, uh, yeah, just, just got, just got like stay focused. I guess. Mm. I, guess I hate saying that. Stay focused, because every time I say that, I then don't <laughs> stay focused. I've, it's just more like um, I gotta not be so harsh on myself. It's super important. Yeah, that's that's better. Cause then like. Um, when I try to stay focused and then like I flop on 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 something, anything in life, I start feeling sorry for myself, and then that that that, and that just makes everything worse. So like, don't feel sorry for yourself. But like, okay, cool. You're trying your best. Go on, carry on. Do you know what I mean? Tomorrow's a new day. Yeah. Yeah. That's key. Yeah. It's key. Just try your best. Do you think? Do you think you're? See, I'm. I know what I think. Do you think you've met your magnum opus yet? What does that mean? Your the the ultimate definitive project that you will ever make. Do you think you've do you think you've achieved or or or, or is it in your sights still? Like the, like with the best shit I've done. Like. And it doesn't necessarily have to be Jimothy Lacoste. I think yeah, it's is as we speak now. Everything I've done so far, because if I had the mindset of, I've not done it yet. I've not done the best yet. I've not done the best. I mean, that is what makes you carry on. Yeah. 
but at the same time it makes you like then give up. Really, I really am satisfied with what I've done. Everything in my life found music and that makes me, that makes me want to do it more because then I'm addicted to the feeling of accomplishments and mm. shit man done that. I think it's only just started now where I'm getting to the point where I'm going to now really just like put 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 music out that I'm going to be happy with. Mm. I'm, I mean, I've always been happy with everything I've put out, but more just, um, yeah, just more like, more more freedom. That's all, really. Yeah. Mm. I think getting everything out of your system that you did at a fam famously young age, mm. bro, I think like now you can, yeah, you can lay your head heavily on your pillow at night and be pretty satisfied with whatever it is you're doing. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Like with a real genuine sense of humility and perspective. That's it. Yeah. That's the shit. I just, now I, now I just need a wife, man. That's what I need now. Oh, it? shit. Comment yeah. below, son. <laughs> you yeah. know what it do, ladies. That's it. Just like a girl that's going to just support me and shit. And uh, mm. I support her. Um, you know what I mean? Because I feel like as a man, I've always avoided girlfriends, and always, always, always. Mm. But I think I've taken it too far now to the point where it's getting unhealthy. I need, I need, I need like, I need a girl that's like that we're there together, bouncing back, like. You know what I'm saying, like, mm. um, because I think yeah, I think a, a woman can either like, can either like thrive you or break you in it. And that's why I've been very scared because she'll either like destroy my life or complete my life. And mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie, I, that, that that is how I see it. Um, and that's why it's hard for me to find it. Do you know what I mean? Like, but yeah, that's what is that that's your own resistance? Goals. Is that your own resistance, or you, you, like like you say, it's gone too far? Is that something that you've kind of is that is that a, is that a reality that you're installing in your head, or is that an actuality of it's, it's it's for me for me for me personally? Yeah, just like. I've always avoided the girlfriends because um, I was like, you know what, they're going to stop me. Oh, I they're they're going to make me lazy to to go out and do what I need to do, music, yeah. whatever. But now that wouldn't happen because now I know how to, now I know that like even if someone, even, oh, babe, please, let's, like, let's just stay up. No, sorry, i got to go out and do mm. my thing. Mm. I can do that now. But back then I probably couldn't. i get too addicted or whatever. Yeah. Um, but now it's just more like... Um, yeah, just finding that woman that's gonna actually like, that's gonna like start a family with and shit. Do you know what I mean? Cause oh. come, like, I'm not gonna lie, I, I don't want to be that guy like that's just like you know, I don't know, man. Like I, just, I, just, I just, yeah, I just want like a family. That's hard, bro. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, just because my my mom's got seven sisters, isn't it? Mm. So when I see that and I go to to and I go to Spain and and I see that whole family of mine I'm like this is what I want yeah yeah because you grew up with it and you know it do you know what I mean oh wow yo that's sick um I'll probably get a call in about a week's time with you going yo you edit that bit I've got a girlfriend now just edit that whole <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I'm fine now get rid of it <laughs> <laughs> ain't it yeah yeah that's no, the transient of like the artists it's like it's almost like you've just put it out into the ether now yeah, man, I hope so, isn't it? Yeah, the universe goes crazy, you never know, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You never know, you never know. That shit, that shit's just got real for you. Then you put. I know, my first link was in... Was it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she literally lives hey? up there. Really? <laughs> yeah. Really, this is what happened. We'll have a bit too much to drink. She's like, oh, just go out and see my old friend. Or should we go? Oh, man, it, it's crazy, right? Yeah. She ain't going to see this interview, but it's mad because... It wasn't even a girlfriend, it was just a link. And I and I and I still like now these days I think and I'm like, man, like I could have done better. I still miss her and shit, you know what I mean? Do ya? Yeah, bro. Do ya? Yeah, bro. Like at the time I was like, yes, yeah, a link, like whatever, cool, do my thing. But man, yeah, like I think I've like I had I had feelings, you know what I mean? And mm. I think it could have could have it could have went better still. And I always think about her now, because now I'm I'm the girls around me. I'm looking, I'm like, you know what? Like, sometimes, I, back then I was like, oh, there could be a better, better girl, better girl, better girl. But then I start going back now in my life and thinking, you know what? Like, she was actually, like, she was actually pretty good. Like, yeah. you know, now compared to the girls around me now, yeah. you know? And then 
girls that I'm meeting now as well. I'm like, oh, there could be better, there could be better. And then it's like, actually, there maybe there isn't, you know. But, but, but that's what I'm still trying to discover, because like, I'm still young. I, might, I don't really know, you know, if that's actually the case, but... I you think, knew a good, you knew a good catch when you had one. Yeah, it's like like perfection is is perfection is not it like you know there is a chance that perfection is not real because mm. you know what yeah, there's a balance you got you got to modify you got to mold to certain things as well yeah yes yeah, so I, I can do a song yeah and there's never ever really of like photography or anything that I've been like perfect it's always been like sick but there's always been something that's like oh I could have done that better next time. And that's what makes you do it better the next, the next after. Do you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Do you suffer from perfectionism? Like you, you not like... really, because I, I do and I don't. Like I'm like, I, I'm I'm ve- like someone will be like, oh, it's not perfect yet, and then they they carry on, carry on, carry on, carry on until eventually they just leave it because they're just like, oh man, it's just not yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Me, I'll be like, it's not perfect. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Done. yeah. Do you, you, can mean? Think, you can overthink these things. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, fuck it. Off on to the next. That's how I move. But in the case and point of girls, or oh, oh, this aforementioned. Um, what what was the <laughs> this is like the agony aunt Kells moment? I'm very curious to know this. Uh, what at what point was it too much? Like where you thought, oh, it's more than a link. I'm going to bail. Was it? Was there a? Was there a? a, a, a what, moment with the girl from? Yeah. Well, basically, what happened was because I, it was a link. I wasn't treating her. Of anything more? Too, yeah, more. I should have tr- treated her more romantically. Uh, okay. And if I did that, it would have been more of a relationship. So obviously, we both just, well, it was mutual. Mm. She pulled me in, like, she took me to the toilet. So I'm thinking, oh, shit, okay, yeah, yeah. But then she's like, no, nah, we need to stop what we're doing. I'm like, oh, it's like that. I'm like, fair enough. I agree. Mm. And I agree. So it's just that, really. Mm. But, yeah, I could have, like, but you know what? Yeah, I'm not going to lie. The reason why I didn't want to be romantic, because I was selfish back then. I really wanted to do my own thing. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, yeah. But hindsight's twenty twenty, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Man. What ifs and could have been, and like like you say... Uh, that was 2017, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Pre, fucking pre-COVID, time. BC. Before yeah, COVID. It was time <laughs> ago. It was time ago. And you know, shit moves on real fucking quick. Mm. Um, talking of which, what's the future? Hi, mate. What's the future of uh, Jimmy Fila Cost as we know it right here in 2020 whenever you're watching this? It's just m- more music. More music. Um, and uh, and just me going back to going back to the basics. Mm. Um, gonna try to do some music videos. Nice. Gonna try. You direct them as well, don't you? You do. You yeah, know yeah. So <gasps> sometimes it's me and other people. Um, sometimes it's just me. Mm. If it's just me, um, they'll come out a certain way. It will be very obvious how they come out. If it's with other people, you'll know how how that goes as well. But yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Music videos. I think that's the biggest goal for sure. Um, and it's difficult. It's more difficult now to do music videos. Weirdly, because. Everyone does music videos now, so you think, wow, well, why would it be difficult? Mm. Because everyone now wants more money, more fame, more credit, etc., which is fine. But back in the day, it was people did things more for the culture. Where it was like, mm. shit, I see you, you're, you're like, can I be a part of this? Like, can I help you yeah. do music videos? Now it's like, oh, what, you ain't got these many views? I got my man, he's just popping off on Spotify. Sorry, G, I'm. I'm yeah, moving yeah, on yeah. to him. So people have gotten more into that kind of mindset with yeah. music videos. And when it used to be nice for their portfolio, now it's like it's more about what can I leverage? What can I leverage? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just simply trying to find people that are on that kind of mind, that kind of level. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, it's been great having you on, my brother. Thank you, bro. Thank you, one. Man. It's Thank been you, man. the one. It's been the one. It's great bro. getting to know you as well. Yeah, man. Top draw. Um, and furthermore, look after that creative mind, man. That's You're fucking on it. And I fucking love artists like you that just fucking... I'm doing it all. Get out of my fucking way. I'm fucking all about <laughs> that, bro. I'm all about that. Time Ladies and gentlemen, Jennifer, Jimothy Lacoste inside the house uh, and you inside watching. Thanks so much. Big shout out to yourself. Sharon is caring. You know what it do. Tell a friend to tell a friend, all right? Crime don't pay, but neither do they, all right? Stay lucky. You don't talk to anyone. I wouldn't, all right? Life is getting quite exciting. 
Yeah, it fucking well is. So join the ride, all right? Starting on the incline, straight up. Easy! Peace! <laughs>